scared of it. I was just going to sleep last night. Well, I did sleep, but um, I, um, well, I usually go to bed at 8.30, but tonight, eh, um, I went to bed at 11. Are you watching some TV? No, what were you doing? Why did you stay up so late? Well, I was on my computer and I had to walk the dog a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I um, had to finish that up. Alright, well I promise I won't keep you long. Okay. So today we are going to be learning about two new strategies to use when we're reading. The strategies are called previewing the text and get the gist. Okay. We're going to start with the previewing the text strategy, which is done before reading. So we're just going to look at the article, the pictures, the title, and try to determine some clues and um, make a plan for reading. Okay? Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is look at some words, some vocabulary words that may be difficult for you to understand or you may already know. Um, the first word we're going to look at is maneuvering. Do you know what it means to maneuver something? Um, it means to like shift it or get around it. When I was hearing the word, I kind of felt like someone was moving something. Yeah, so like if I dropped a pencil on the ground, I would maneuver around the desk to get it. To move around. Yeah, so like move around, pick it up. And the next word we're going to look at is contemplating. Contemplating? Yes. Do you know what it means to con contemplate something? Mm. It kind of sounds like concentrate. Kind of. That's right. It, it means to like, to really think about and debate over something before you make a decision. So... Before I decided what I was going to wear today, I was really contemplating on everything in my closet. The last word we're going to look at is right here. It's called, it, I mean, it is distraught. Do you know what it means to be distraught? Um, I know I've heard the word before. I just can't remember when. It means to be like scared or frightened. So I went into a haunted house once, and all of these scary clowns made me very distraught. I was very frightened. So next thing we're going to do is just become familiar with, with the text and the pictures and the title um, of, the, of this article. So now you can't really tell, but this is, it's like water, and this is, that's a puppy. It's a puppy. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Yeah. And then we've got a man and a woman mm -hmm. on a body of water. And she's holding a puppy. In a boat? Yeah, in a boat. Mm -hmm. Maybe. The title of our article is Italian Sailors Rescue Adorable Puppy Lost at Sea. Ooh, I wonder how it got there. I don't know. Maybe. Hopefully we'll find out. Now that we've become familiar with the task, the, with, the, with the article, we're going to do a little brainstorming to see if we can relate to this article in any way. So when I was brainstorming this, I thought about my dog when I was younger. My dog was taken away from us. She was stolen. And we were all very sad and scared. We didn't understand why, why someone would steal our dog. Then, a week or two later, she came back, and we were all excited and happy again. So I can kind of relate to this article being that my dog was taken, and this dog, according to the article, was lost. Is there any way you think you can relate to this article? You guys go out on the boat? Or do you have a dog? I have a dog. You do? What's your dog's name? Roxy. That's pretty. She, um, she uh, looks like... Um, the, what's the girl reading? Um, Shiloh? Shiloh. She looks like Shiloh. Yeah? That's cool. Except she's a girl. Yes, that would make sense. Now we're going to make a prediction of what we think this article is going to be about. 
so I predict the article is going to be about some sailors who rescue a puppy at sea. Do you want to make a prediction? Your prediction can be similar to mine or different and entirely your own. Well, I just think that the dog probably was like, like, uh, when he was lost in the sea, um, some people heard him and came to rescue. Yeah, so the dog was rescued? So based on my prediction, we're going to set a purpose for reading this article today. So, hmm? Purpose? Purpose, yeah. So why we're going to read it. So we're reading this article today to kind of determine what happened to the puppy, why it was lost, and how it became lost. And hopefully the article will answer that for us. Um, our next strategy is called Get the Gist. Which is gist? Get the Gist. What's that? I'm going to tell you. So the start strategy is done during reading. And it's gonna, we're gonna use it to help us to make sure we understand what's going on in the article from paragraph to paragraph. So before we move on to this, do you have any questions? I don't um, really have any questions. I just um, know that sometimes um, when I'm reading and then I have to go back to do questions, I like, um, sometimes I might like, Forget what it's trying to tell me. Mm -hmm. It's a little hard to understand sometimes. Yeah, and hopefully this strategy will help you with that. So with doing the strategy, we're going to read each paragraph, one, two, three, one at a time. And there are three steps. First step is to determine the most important person or thing in the paragraph. The second is to determine the most important information about the person or thing in the paragraph. And the third is to summarize the paragraph based on step one and two. So I'm going to read the first paragraph and then I'm going to model those steps for you. Okay. Alright. On October 24th, a group of sailors from the NYCC Sivolia Yacht Club in Naples, Italy were enjoying a beautiful day on the water when they noticed an animal swimming towards them. Upon getting closer, they realized it was a tiny puppy that was holding on for dear life in the freezing waters of the Gulf of Naples. That would be scary. Okay, so for step one, the most important person or thing in this article, I think, is the dog. Show your work. I would say the group of sailors are most important. And the most important information I found about the group of sailors is that um, they were RYCC Savior Yacht Club. I think that is important, but I think even more important than that, based on our title of our uh, story and the pictures that we looked at, is the fact that they found a tiny puppy swimming in the freezing water when they were out on the boat. So to summarize this article based on those two pieces of information that I found, I would say that uh, the sailors um, found a dog in the freezing cold water. Good dog! I didn't even have to model that for you. Are you sure you haven't done this before? Mm, I don't think I have. You're very good at it. Alright, let's look at the next paragraph now. With some clever maneuvering, they managed to get close enough to the shivering animal and scoop it up. They, the rescuers took the puppy back to shore and were contemplating what to do with it when they heard it from its frantic owner. Mm. So what do you think the most important person or thing is in this paragraph? It is... Would it be the puppy? Or the rescuers? Or the frantic owner? I think it was the dog. The puppy? The puppy. Okay, and well, what's the most important information you found about the puppy? And if we can't find any information about it, we can go back to step one and see if we can find another important person. Okay. I don't know if there's really any important information. Okay, 
Well, let's go back to step one and let's look for another important person or thing in this part. The rest. Okay. And what do you think the most important information about things? Maybe that they rescued the puppy and brought it back to shore with them? Yeah? That sound good? Mm -hmm. So to summarize this article, we could get through this paragraph. We could say that the rescuers managed to get the puppy and bring it back to shore. Good job. Mm -hmm. Alright, now for the final paragraph. Now we find out what happens. Turns out the puppy, who was called Noodle, had been traveling on a ferry earlier that morning from the Italian island of Isho. When it escaped from its leash and fell overboard, while the incident was reported to the boat operators, they were not very helpful and told the distraught owners that the adorable Labrador retriever had most likely drowned. Fortunately, neither Noodle nor his parents were ready to give up as quickly. Hmm. So what do you think the most important person would think is about this paragraph? Noodle. Noodle. I like that name. And what is the most in important information we found about Noodle? That um, when he escaped from his leash, he fell overboard. And um, and when they reported, they said that, that he most likely drowned. Okay, so he fell overboard and the operators didn't want to look for him? They just, they just didn't want to, oops, they just didn't want to care about it. Okay. Basically. So to summarize this paragraph, what would you say? I would say that Noodle, um, a Noodle fell overboard and the operators, um, <gasps> told them not to work, that he probably drowned and there's no, like, there's basically no point trying to look for him. Okay, so maybe to clarify that a little bit, we could say Nudo fell overboard, but despite the operator's um, intuition, he wasn't ready to give up or drown, and he got home safely. All right, wonderful. I think you've done this before. No, you were very good at it. So the purpose for doing this lesson today was to help us to um, kind of learn about the passage before we read it and figure out some key clues and ideas, and then um, to make sure that we understand what's going on in each paragraph before we move on, so that we understand the whole story when we get to the end. Um, I don't know, that was kind of quick and easy, what, didn't you think? Yeah. What's one thing you can tell me that you've learned today? Well, I have learned how to like, like basically break up the paragraph to help me understand what it's trying to tell me. Good job, that is awesome. I'm so proud of you. Thank you for your help. You can go back inside now.